All right, guys, welcome back. I haven't done an update since I put the new HGS 7 in, and I'm working my way across this lake here, and I figured this was a good opportunity to talk about that a little bit. That, and it's kind of a good demonstration of how really safe I feel in the Catch Power 100. This thing is super stable. Um, this wind's probably gonna destroy the quality of the sound on this video, but Kind of just bear with me a little bit it's also kind of trying to blow me all over the place out here um this lake's kind of like a minefield too so get this set for a second there we go so yeah you guys can see all the stumps sticking out i'm still in 18 feet of water and there's stumps and trees absolutely everywhere. But this thing is, what is going on? Oh, I lean too far forward. Okay, well that's annoying. But, yeah, I'm not really worried about the waves or the wind here in the old Catch Power 100. This thing is super stable, super happy. The bow design on this thing works great for this and I can set my trolling motor low enough that we miss majority of everything. So even though I don't have anything up on the graph right now, it still tells me the depth. And the time is wrong, because it is not 403. Let me phrase that. It better not be 403. But on this here, we got... We got our down scan, we got our side scan, we got all that good stuff. Plus we can run chirp all at one time. Um, it's got navigational charts that are actually really, really accurate, surprisingly. Um, this day's kind of turned to poo out here. The wind is kind of relentless and, well, you can see on the side scan there, it's choppy because we're bouncing a lot. Um, there is a lot of cover on the bottom of this lake, and there are a lot of stumps sticking up. So I've been just trying to methodically work through areas that I thought were going to need to be a lot better than they were, and then they weren't, and... Well, I guess there's a reason why when I got here, pretty much everybody went not the direction I went when I got to the lake. Oh. but yeah not not a whole lot has changed really the hgs 7 is really the only update worth talking about um my new mincota see there's a stump right in front of us that you can just barely see um my new mincota c55 that i got for the kayak um it had a detached magnet internally yeah 18 feet of water there's a tree stump um so brand new how to warranty that actually this minefield over here kind of looks like it might be decent um <clears throat> but yeah so i had to warranty that and then i'm gonna have to pay 60 dollars for the service fee of the warranty which sucks because it's literally brand new open the box and it was bad but i mean it, it beats shipping it back because i did buy it online which looking back on it that was kind of a mistake but i didn't have any issues with my c30 which is what i'm currently using yeah wow this is a lot rougher than it was a little bit ago i might not stay out here too much longer now the wind's picking up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about the kayak. It's just with this wind in the water and not having my bigger trolling motor, it's just kind of, I wouldn't say it's pushing me around, but I mean, I'm just at this moment kind of really happy that I'm up, like upwind of the boat ramp. 
Um, I got the 100 amp hour back there hooked up to the C30, so I know I got plenty of juice for that. It's just, man, I don't want to be out here all day like that. <laughs> and I sure don't want to paddle when it's just nautical. Because I've, I've had to do that before, and it's not fun. Wow, this is choppy. Yeah, I think I'm going to go over here to this minefield. Um, I got my rope with me, so I could tie off to one of these trees. I really don't like doing that, but sometimes that's just what you got to do to keep fishing. But, yeah, that's, that's really what I wanted to talk to you guys about and show you. Um, HDS7, I got that custom mount down there, which kind of sucks, even though this is the smallest HDS that Lawrence makes. It's still almost too big for the kayak. And I didn't want to put the screen back here because I like to stand when I'm fishing. So, whatever. I'm really curious where all those other guys wound up going. I think most of them got here and then left. I watched one guy rip the uh, lower unit off his motor. Well, didn't rip it off, but he hit a stump like 30 feet off the boat ramp and then turned around and got mad, which I don't blame him at all, and left. I mean, even even as low a draft as I have on this lake, I've hit a couple stumps now. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk to you guys about. Yeah, it's getting kind of windy. I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to fish these stumps out here in the middle a little bit, hit it with the old jerk bait. I'm only in 20 feet of water, give or take, right now. So, we'll see what happens. This is definitely going to be a lake that I want to return to when we get closer into spawn, because there's so much cover, there's so much good stuff that I don't usually get on lakes up here. Um, a lot of the lakes that I typically fish are either really old, so there's nothing at the bottom, or they're pretty fresh, freshly man-made. And yeah, this is this is a little nautical for today, considering how cold this water is too. But um, yeah, I I'm just gonna stop yammering. That's the big. This is the big new thing that we got going on here. Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful day. It's just I wish this wind would just lay down just just a little bit. Just. A little bit and there's so there's a lot of fish out here but yeah I know the, the HDS 7 it's got down scan side scan sonar the cool thing about this is when you're running your down scan it'll run chirp at the same time too so it's not just down scan you don't necessarily have to have the chirp on while you're running everything which is nice. The regular one doesn't do that. Plus, it's... <clears throat> it's also... Oh, I don't know what I did now. <laughs> I'm not quite used to it yet. There we go. Um, you can scroll back through your timeline. It gives you all the information, your exact coordinates. No, this thing's this thing's awesome. I really, I really, really do enjoy having this. Um, I'm also supposedly able to run um, radio on this, I guess. Plus, it it gives you all of your tide times for the day. It's got GPS, all that cool stuff. This thing is really great. <laughs> You can set alarms for different things, waypoints, storage, download extra apps. I can control it with my phone, which is nice. I mean, I'm right here, but... Yeah, I don't know why I'd really want to do that. It doesn't make sense for a kayak, but for a big boat, it makes... Wow! It makes sense. I wasn't expecting that roller. Oh, yeah, I might call it soon. It's it's starting to act like the waves want to cap out here. It's getting fairly nautical. 
fish this area here a little bit with the old jerk bait. Might throw the old spinner bait out there a little bit, see what we got. But it's been it's been a really hit and miss day out here today. I think a lot of it has to do with the wind and I kept trying to fish in areas back in Cove so I wouldn't get absolutely beat up by the wind today. Yeah, we're gonna fish for a little bit longer. It's starting to cap out here. Let's get a little bit closer to these logs, maybe. But yeah, so you guys take care. Stay safe. Wear your life jacket. I know I am out here in this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fish around and find out, guys. Fish around and find out. All right, take care. I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple.